morning, everyone. Uh, thanks again to Alim uh, for uh, consultants for inviting us. Uh, this is the third year that Green Emirates is supporting this event. Having been here th for 35 years and 20 years ago, uh, in 94, I was one of the volunteers that helped set up Emirates Environment Group with Habiba Marashi, Jackie Dyer, and a few others. Uh, that experience showed me that it is very hard to work with individuals one by one, also especially as the UAE is a very multicultural society and a lot of us are here for a very short period of time. So there are two aspects in, our, uh, in my opinion. One is the regulation. For example, in Sharjah and Abu Dhabi, waste uh, management and recycling have had the exponential growth because the government has actually imposed a financial aspect to it. You throw garbage in Sharjah in Abu Dhabi, you're paying approximately 200, 250 dirhams a ton to send it to the landfill. So that has created a huge ecosystem with BIA, with recycling companies and so on, to find solutions. In Dubai, we're still paying only 10 dirhams to send a truck of 15, 20 tons of waste to the landfill. That causes immense uh, difficulty for recycling companies, for companies to find the financial incentive to divert the waste. So my presentation is actually on how to find practical solutions that financially as well as ecologically um, impact your bottom line. A little bit about ourselves. The company was set up in 2013. Um, the initial plan was to gather as much information on as many green service providers, products and so on available in the UAE. There are many of them that are set up by individuals like yourselves who have decided to be passionate but they're finding it very difficult to reach out to big clients, to uh, marketing budgets, cash flow, and so on. So the directory, actually, we invite everyone in the UE who has a green product service to contact us. They complete a form. We check that they are bona fide, and we add them to the directory. So you have business card of a salesperson or the general manager or a technical person from each company. There's a description and they're cataloged. So each company chooses two categories that best describe their product. Um, in addition to that, we also provide procurement advice to large organizations, Dubai South, Dubai Airport, uh, Al Futaim uh, Group. When they have a green procurement program, we sit down with them and identify what type of suppliers and so on they need. So that, uh, if you're a green uh, service provider, ideally you need to approach us so that we know you're there and we can also put you forward for the major projects we work on. We also help companies from around the world. You have seen probably that the exhibitions, Wetex, uh, Dubai Solar, are extremely busy. There are a lot of companies from outside that have heard of Sheikh Mohammed's vision, 2030, 2021, Expo, and so on. And they know that we need green suppliers, but they're finding it difficult to identify partners here, to represent them, to market their products, to import their products, and so on. So if you're a local company that is maybe in mechanical, electrical, or in other services, and you're thinking of exploring this, please approach us. We have uh, more than 50,000 contacts on our database, and we're struggling to find enough bona fide local firms to represent these firms. We also organize green events, and we're partners with Alim Consultant on green business in Sharjah. We also organize Green Jabal Ali, Green Musafa, um, Green Energy, Green Schools, Green Malls, by various um, uh, topic areas. We also launched the Green Careers Day this year and we've had three of them where we have experts who are in solar industry, in waste, in um, water saving and so on to actually help a lot of the graduates who are coming out and out of the universities. University of Sharjah has a very good renewable energy program. Uh, Harriet Watt has an excellent master's in renewable energy. Um, Abu Dhabi universities, a lot of them are producing graduates but none of us are seem, seem to be hiring them. We all want to import ready, technically uh, capable, experienced people to work immediately. But those interns at some point will grow into the future managers. So we need an opportunity to, uh, to give them an opportunity to show themselves. So how do you green your business? The first thing, and you will hear a couple of excellent presentations coming up from Taka Solutions and from uh, smart for power um, on energy efficiency. First thing, obviously, at the moment, we had a presentation yesterday on LED lights. That is a low-hanging fruit. You get payback if you're a hotel and you're using your lighting 24-7. Payback could even be less than one year. In most cases, it will be within one to two years. Um, carbon dioxide and movement sensors. First thing you do with air conditioning is, as this morning, we were freezing. Why? Because there's a link between the fresh air supply 
and the temperature. You want more fresh air, you have to chill and you have to keep the uh, compressors and so on working hard. But if you separate that and you put carbon dioxide sensors and the motion detectors, they will only cool or uh, provide fresh air depending on the requirement.